Let me start this review off with a question. Am I giving you five times the entertainment by reviewing five games? Or did I just pick out some random Xbox indie games I already own to make five shittier reviews? My final answer is B, since this is, after all, the useless review Indie Grand Slam. 360 edition. Something I will let you guys know right away is that I did not play any of these games to completion. Mostly played for like 20-40 minutes just to refresh my memory on each game. With that out of the way, let's move on to some familiar territory with Mount Your Friends. If this is your first time seeing this game in action, there's something that's immediately going to catch your eye. They have very, very visibly missing noses. Look, I get it, I get it, it can be very distracting, but that's what the helicopter physics are there for. That and advertising your friend's YouTube channel. The objective is to climb as high as you can, whether it's climbing your friends, blocks, or a goat. As you can see on screen, the controls aren't very complex, but may take a second for it to click. You can also unlock stuff and customize your guy, unlike the next game we'll be talking about, the impossible game. Looking back at my notes, I categorize this game as a timing based runner to me, but I think it would be closer to an endless runner with an ending. Now I'm curious to what it really is. Oh, a one button platformer. Well, this one button platformer is designed to piss you off aka trial and error. It's all about timing, consistency, and patience. Luckily, you can enter a practice mode at any point, placing your own checkpoints, but you'll have to retry the entire level to give it a legit try. There may or may not be actual checkpoints when doing a legit run, but it's not like I'm gonna go find out by actually getting that far or doing the research. I do gotta live up to the useless part of these reviews after all. Since I'm fresh out of transitions, let's just move on to the next game, Trigger Finger. Looking back at my notes again, I noticed I called this game a standstill shooter, though that describes it perfectly. Sure, you can upgrade things between rounds and enemies do get harder as you progress through each wave, but you'll be shooting the same cardboard guys at the same location over and over again. Though as much shit as I am given this game right now, I do remember going back to this game as a kid every so often for a couple of rounds when I was younger, but that could just be saying something about me. Sure, like one of the upgrades is a shotgun and an assault rifle, so there are three different guns technically, but honestly there's nothing else to say about Trigger Finger. The next game is Message to All Friends, and all that game does is lets you easily message all of your friends, if not most of them. That is if it worked. I'm not 100% sure if it did. It told me that it didn't work, but then I see this. So, honestly, I... I don't know. Now that we've talked about... those... Let's move on to my favorite game out of the bunch, Dead Pixels. Throughout the three game modes you can play, you'll be taking out zombies as you gather supplies and get to the next street. Pretty unique if I say so myself. The different game modes don't completely change the game, but they do have minor differences between them. Dead Pixels game mode is where you'll be fighting your way through the streets as you gather supplies by looting them or buying them from stores. You'll be fighting to get to a helicopter and escape with your life as well as the shit you stole. The Solution mode is where you'll be playing as prisoner of your choice with their own unique stats. You'll have to fight your way to a spot to turn something on or off and then fight your way back to where you started and instead of looting supplies you get to order them in from your radio. Last Stand is just survival or time attack so I really didn't bother touching those. Now, some of you may feel I cheated you since I did include Message to All Friends in this review. So that's why I also included Comedy Night, which doesn't work. 